Welcome back to another episode of Power Driven Diesel. Today, we're gonna to be working on a 6L Power Stroke. But before we do, we're gonna get this thing on the rollers and see what it does. Alrighty, everybody, the thing put down in bone stock form, 311 horsepower, uh, like 500 foot pounds of torque. And so not a hugely impressive number. I mean, it's just stock, but the, I mean, these trucks have really good get up and go. They're really good daily drivers. But the unfortunate part is when we were pulling it off the dyno, none of us really caught it while it was on the dyno. It was starting to push coolant pretty bad out of the radiator cap. Well, we've just replaced the radiator cap on this thing and it's still pushing coolant. So we need to pull the cab off and we're gonna replace the cylinder heads and the head gaskets because it's blown the head gaskets. And so let's get over to the shop and we're gonna get the cab off of this thing. Whatever Aaron says go. Okay, alrighty, so a little quick tip for you guys. So the coolant drain is right here. It's an eight millimeter Allen. Try and get my uh, tool right up in there. So it's right there. Drain those before you uh, tear this thing apart otherwise way. I'll help you get a mess. Alrighty, we got the cab up in the air, we've got the heads off to the machine shop, and the unfortunate news is I had them check them out while we were there, and the heads that came off of this were super cracked. There's a crack running from the exhaust valve to the intake, one to the injector hole. I mean, there's a couple that run across, the heads are shot, cannot be reused, cannot be fixed. And in my experience, this happens to about 50% of all the heads I pull off, that you just have to replace one or the other or both. In this case, it was both. Um, and it's really a common problem on these heads that were 18 millimeter doweled. So Power Driven just released a new product. Um, we've been working on these heads for a little while. And so these are our new 6.0 Power Stroke heads. And these come with 20 millimeter dowels. One of the benefits of the 20 millimeter doweled heads is that the bed plate, that the seating surface that actually mates to the block is physically thicker than the 18 millimeter doweled heads. So it'll help eliminate a lot of those cracking issues around the exhaust and intake valves. It also allows for a better sealing surface because it is thicker and so it'll make it so it doesn't warp or deflect like the 18 millimeter dowel heads can also do. But there are some changes with the 20 millimeter dowel heads that uh, you do need to address. You do need to get some type of adapter dowel. So this is a step dowel that goes from 18 millimeter to 20 millimeter. You put the 18 millimeter side in your block and you put the 20 millimeter dial side, of course, locates the head. Um, when doing this kit, you need a 20 millimeter gasket kit. 
So that also makes ordering parts easy. If you're just planning on getting heads and knocking this job out in a weekend, you just get a 20 millimeter gasket kit, get some heads, you're ready to put, bolt it back together. One other difference is the injector hold downs are slightly different. They changed where the boss is located in the head for strength. And so they did change that hold down. These are fairly inexpensive. You'll be into them less than a hundred dollars. Okay, we need something to hold these heads in place. And that's really the number one reason that we're, we're gonna pull the heads off of this truck anyway, was to put head studs in it. Head studs, of course, allow more clamping force to hold the heads on. And being that there's only four head bolts per cylinder on a 6.0, that's one of their weakest links. Every other diesel in the world comes with six head bolts per cylinder. We need a really, really strong bolt. And for us, we use the OptiTorx. They're a really, really good name in the industry. They've been around since the 80s. They've been making most of the hardware for the US military for a long time. Their attention to detail is second to none. I have a three page report on my computer of a, the spec sheet of these things because what I thought was a warranted bolt was very much not so. These bolts torque to 225 foot pounds. This is the Torque Master line of the OptiTorque series. They're extremely strong. When comparing them to the other leading bolts in the industry, they're uh, two to three times as strong as like an ARP or even the OptiTorque Patriot. Like I said, these are the Torque Master series. So when you want that extra security, Torque Master is the way we go. So let's get these heads thrown on the truck. Let's tighten them down. And I wanna drive this thing.
Alrighty, we got the cab back down. It's all back together, no leaks. I mean, we've gone over everything. We put a couple, we put a thousand miles on it um, to bleed the oiling system out. And it's running great. Um, it seems to be getting a little better fuel economy. It seems to have picked up a little bit of power. I mean, new heads do a lot to help increase the performance of an engine. Even if they are, uh, for the most part, still stock, they are better flowing because the ports are just that much bigger from no longer having the stuff that has been building up in them for the last hundred and, well, in this truck's case, 300,000 miles. So these are a great investment. They go on really easy. There's nothing to really be concerned about. I mean, we've got to get some parts to adapt them over, but to get that thicker bed plate is totally worth it. And if you want to see an in-depth how-to video of exactly how to do this, go to our How to Resurrect the 60 Power Stroke video. That is a two hour long video. We go in depth, detail, everything you need to do to be able to pull a cab off one of these, replace heads, put it back together correctly the way it's designed to be, and to not feel like you don't know how to do the job. After you're done watching that video, you should know exactly what you need to do to be able to do this job if you've got a two post lift or a little bit of ingenuity. So long as you can get that cab off, you can do this job.